Hello everyone, welcome to Educate E-Commerce. In today's video, I will show you how to add countdown timer in your Shopify. Countdown timer is a very good feature. This build urgency in customers to check out faster. So today I will show you how to add this in your Shopify. So first go to your dashboard. In here click on apps and then go to view more apps in this collection so it will redirect you to the app store click on search and search for product countdown so in here you can see many apps for me I use urgency bear countdown timer right so click on here and it's a free app click on add app now here you can click on install and it will install it to your store so now you can see urgency bear countdown timer in here first you have to install the app which we already did and then second when this page pop up to enable this countdown timer you can see there's an option called enable here right so click on enable enable this the countdown variable is enabled right now so you can see it will look like this the countdown will look like this you can also customize this by you can see if you scroll down the right on the left hand side you can see countdown timer you can click on here to show this right you can also change the text here like you can see hurry the sales ends in you can add this and you can also change the text color here I can change any color here and you can also change the font size in here I can make it a little bigger and you can see uh, show countdown option tick that and you can also add the countdown data time you can add like two days maybe if you scroll down you can see this box right we can change its color the timer box you can change it to you can change the digit color and you can also change the style right yeah, there are four options you can change this style in here and you can change the font font in here below that you can align this timer also so below that you can see uh, when the timer reaches 000, zero, zero uh, what will happen next so you can uh, do nothing this option will do nothing or you can restart the timer or you can hide it right straight away you can hide that and if you scroll down you can see the inventory countdown the only 12 left in stock you can edit this also so text before stock number what all you can add you can edit that in here and below that you can add the stock custom stock or real stock or you can add the random stock in here right you can edit that in here also you can also click on here and hide the last stock if you want and also text after the stock you can change this also and you can change the color the same thing color and the stock number color font Oh, and you can change the counter style this one right you can change this to like this or this you can also change this color too if you go uh, below that you can see advanced settings in here you can add this countdown timer to maybe all products or you can add to specific product just click in here any product like yeah I will save this or maybe you can add to a specific collection so for for now I will just go with all product page and you can this both show on uh, mobile or you can do it on desktop so in the countdown placement you can show your countdown on the product page uh, for that to just click and save it here I will show if I click save and go to my store and click on any product and you can see 
my countdown timer here right so let's say if i want my countdown timer below my description if i want this in below my description go to the counter and placement here and you can see a code in here div plus ultimate countdown just copy this and you can see a template file here i will open this in a new tab in here scroll down and in the section area i will close all this so in the section area if you go down you can see product template liquid so in here find the product description code uh, for me it's here you can see product single description rt this is this will be my description of the product so i want my countdown timer below this description so i will go down and in here you can see div just enter and paste that and click on save if i go to my product and reload this countdown timer under my description you can remove this by just click in here and un uncheck this and save and go to your store and reload now you can see it has been removed and only you can see this below the description so yeah guys that's it for today's video i hope you like this video please do subscribe and share our videos to reach more audience if you like our content please like the videos if you have any any issues or any uh, topic you want to discuss just let me know in the comment so yeah guys that's it for today's video i will see you guys in the next video bye